Hello friends, in this video, I am going to explain a program to check the username and password. So basically, uh, we used to see so this kind of uh, application in most of the websites and in the banking sector also. Here, the user has to enter the username and password. If the username and password matches, then it has to move on to the next step in the application. If user is giving wrong attempts three times, then it should print no more attempts for that day. This is the basic idea of the program. So let us write the logic of this program. So to implement this, I am using for loops and the user is having three choices. So we can use the for is a keyword any variable name i in range of 3. So this range allows the user to enter the username and password 3 times, Okay, 3 chances the user will get. So inside the for loop I am going to ask the username, so username equal to, so input of enter the username. So username is the name given to the user, so that has to enter in this case and password equal to input of enter the password. So whatever the user is entering the user name that will be stored in this variable and password is stored in this variable. Okay. Now we need to check whether this username provided by the user is matched with the username that is in the database right so the condition is if the username whatever the username that is provided by the user should match with the name given in the database for example the username is like admin along with this so you, you need to also check the password so this password is entered by the user that should uh, match with the password in the database. So, for example, the password is, uh, for example, Sudhakar123. Okay. So, this is the password. If this is true, if username and password both are matched, then so you should uh, print one message, print, so access permitted. Okay. Access permitted because the username and password both are matched. So, then so you can uh, exit from this loop. Okay, so if this username and password is wrong, then again, so you have to print a message access is denied and again you have to ask the username and password for the second time. Okay, so else, else, now you can print one message access denied. Okay, then you can uh, print one message again, please uh, try again please try again for the second attempt okay then again the user has to give the username and password if it is matched then it uh, print a message access is permitted otherwise it will print a message access is denied and again it will ask uh, please try again so like this user will get the three chances okay so if the three chances are completed then you can use else for the for loop okay printing a message print a message here this is a case so if three chances are completed our program should print no more attempts for that day okay it should print no more attempts for that day so this is a message after three incorrect inputs let us execute this program now give a username for example i am giving my name and then password 123 it is wrong so it is printing a message access denied then please try again again i have to give one more attempt for example this time i am giving the correct username and password is wrong again it is showing access denied please try again the third chance you can give again uh, you can give one more attempt okay something like this username and password is uh, i am giving some password it is showing access denied Please try again. After that, it is uh, printing one more message 
no more attempts for that day then you have to try the login in the next day okay now let's uh, test this uh, with respect to the positive test case now i am giving the correct username enter the username admin then password is whatever the password is given sudhakar123 then so it prints a message access is permitted so this program can be implemented with the help of while loop also thank you for watching